Hey everybody, if you are new here, I'm Sherry. I'm the owner of Our Praising Paws and I love to share my tips and tricks with you guys on a weekly basis. We talk about different recipes for our pets and we do product reviews and fun things like that. So today we're gonna be doing a product review, so let's get into it. All right, let's be honest. Everybody really likes a good product review. I know I do. I wanna know what I'm getting and what other people have thought about it before I spend my hard earned money. So today I'm actually gonna be doing a review just for you guys. I've had this product well over a year and I wanted to have it for a lengthy amount of time so I could give you guys a good review and my experiences with it. So today we're gonna be reviewing the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro. Okay, so we're gonna go over some pros and cons. So we'll start with the positive end of it. Pros, the things I absolutely love about this is that it is a mop and a vacuum all in one. So typically, to be completely honest, there are times when I will sweep the floor, I'll vacuum, and then I'll go over it with the mop. But you don't have to do that technically. You can do it all in one. Another thing that I really, really like about it is I don't have to bend over and do back breaking work. You know, it really does save my back. I used to have to use a push mop. We have laminate floors, so you can't use too much water. There's been times when I've been on my hands and knees trying to clean the floor and not only do my knees bruise but if I am standing up and trying to do that work my back would kill me by the time I was done with it so there's that another great positive thing I love about it is the fact that there is an easy cleanup all the parts detach there's the fresh water holding tank super easy to come off the dirty water holding tank I and mean, then we'll pop up some pictures for you guys so you can see what we're referring to but there is also the dirty water tank and they have like almost like a sieve that just pulls right out and it lifts all the pet hair out with it now it's not perfect but it is a huge game changer. So when you empty out that dirty water, you're not clogging up your sink. So those are some of the things that I absolutely love about it. Now, unfortunately, there are a couple of cons. There is a new Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro out, or it might just be called the Bissell Crosswave, but it is cordless. Oh, darn it, I really wish that I would have known that was coming out because I probably would have waited just a little bit longer. Mine is a plug-in one, but I still absolutely love it. Now, the other con that I have is when you're vacuuming, you can vacuum pretty quickly, right? Well, with the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro, you have to drag in a slower motion to make sure that it is actually cleaning properly. Now, there's a trigger on the handle, and again, we'll show you the image of it. That's what you squeeze when you want the liquid to come out to mop the floor. Now, as you're squeezing and you're pulling back slowly, it's recommended that you go back without pulling the trigger and you go over another overpass to dry it. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I don't do that. The thing about it is, is I hate cleaning my floors. And that's one reason why I wanted to get the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pros because I wanted an easier way to clean my floor so I could move on with my day and not spend so much time. Now I really like clean floors, but I have pets and people coming you know, consistently through my house. To have the clean floors that I'd want, I probably would need to use this product maybe two to three times a week. But to be honest with you, I don't do that because <laughs> I really don't like cleaning my floors. But I will tell you that this product has made my life so much easier. So let me show you what it looks like when you're actually using the product. Wait, hold on. There's one more con. I completely forgot to tell you guys this. And then we'll move on to actually showing you how it works. So my other con is the piece is actually touching the floor, mopping the floor. If you're wanting to get really, really close to your molding on the floor, it doesn't allow you to get that close to it. I don't know if it's a structural thing on the vacuum, um, but it doesn't let you butt up right next to the wall. And I'll show you a picture and I'll circle the spot I'm talking about on the vacuum so you know what I'm talking about and we'll pop that up right here. But that's my other con to this is that you can't get right up to the wall, which is quite irritating, but nonetheless, it does make it easier. All right, so now, let me show how it works. All right, so here it is. This is my Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro. I've had this 
probably at about a year, if not a little over a year. But I'm just gonna show you some of the parts on the Crosswave and then we'll show you some actual footage of me cleaning the floor with it. Obviously it has a electrical cord because this is not the newer version that is cordless. This part right here that the Crosswave can come out of is the holding tray. This tray you can actually supposedly self-clean the brushes. Um, I've actually never even used that, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I take these out myself and I'll show you how to do that. I just cleanse off the rollers and I let them air dry. So to be honest with you, I can't tell you about the tray. I just set it back in there in my closet, but I have yet to use it. <laughs> now, there are two different kinds of brushes. Let me pop this open just to show you guys. This is how you can change out the brushes. Um, right here it says pull, if you guys can see that. You literally just pull out and it will take this part off. And I take this off to rinse it and clean it out as well. Um, there's tons of spots on it. Again, I've had this for some time and we have hard water, so can't really help that. But this roller right here is much smoother. This is meant more for like hard floors, like tile, laminate, wood floor, that kind of thing. And right here again, it says pull. So you literally just pull up on it and you can pull the roller right out. And you can switch it out for one of these rollers, which these are meant for the more dense carpet or lower like area rugs, that kind of thing, um, because they have those little bristle brushes on it. So I put those in there when I'm not using them, but to put this in, all you have to do, there's a little hole right here, and you guys can see, I use this on my floor, there's dog hair. Yep, it's true, there's dog hair. <laughs> there's a little, uh, I guess, little button here that you want to stick this end in, so you, push it in just like that. And then you have to make sure that this little notch is facing down because you want it to say pull it needs to be facing up. So you just push it in there, push down and your brush is ready to go. Now put this back on, there's like some little notches right here. You need to just make sure that those fit in to these little cubby holes here and then it will snap right down. So I'll just push them in there like that. I put those in first and then I push down on the top. Sometimes you gotta do a little encouragement of it, but that's it. Now this right here is the dirty water tank. Um, how you get this out is by pushing this little button right here and pulling out towards you. This is some kind of filter. Um, I haven't replaced that. I'm not sure you can replace it, but I haven't. All you have to do is lift up this I will also rinse off because dog hair will get um, stuck on that. And I'll show you guys. Um, this is a little sift I was telling you guys about. When you, this is full of dirty water, you want to pull this up as straight as possible and you will be surprised about how much pet hair gets held on this. And I just dump it in the trash and I dump out the dirty water and we move on. You wanna make sure obviously you put this back together in the right manner. Um, it's like a puzzle, it's not hard. You can figure out by the shape of it. Um, and then you just pop it right back into place. Super easy. Now on the back side of it, that is the clean water tank. All you have to do to get this off is literally pull straight up on it. And it's kind of difficult because I'm only using one hand. Just like that, you just pull up. It's a lot easier if you have two hands to use. But depending on the area that you're gonna be cleaning, if you're doing a small area, you fill up with water there, then you fill up the rest of the way with the formula that you're using. I usually have to go all the way up here because I have to do this entire area here. So typically I actually have to fill this several times to clean the whole floor. So I'll fill it with water. Um, all the way up to this section, and then I'll fill it the rest of the way with formula. You put the twist nozzle back on, and you put it directly down. There's some grooves. You just guide it through the grooves and push down, and you are good to go. So now let's show you what this looks like as it's working. I'm about to clean my floors. I don't know if you guys can see. You can probably see right here. There's all of those feet prints. This happens very regularly in my house just because we have dogs and people walking through. And this is the solution that I will be using. It came with a whole bunch of these solutions, but I did not have the pet solution. It's supposed to help eliminate odor. So if I were to shampoo this with that, 
and there was like say urine or vomit on there it would help eliminate some of those odors so that is the reason why um, I thought it would be great to try this one because I've tried their other products and they've uh, worked out really well but this has the scent of Febreze so I'm excited to see what this smells like so we're gonna get this started now when you're ready to get started obviously there's two different buttons here there's the area rug button and then there's the hard floor button Obviously, today I'm gonna to be using the hard floor button. All you have to do is push it, and you're good to go. the dirty water tank is full and you need to empty it. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna pull the trigger again here, pull down and then it will release the tank. And then we're going to go dump this out. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been referring to with the sieve and how much hair is in it. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this off first. If you really look at it, you can see how much hair is still stuck in that. So I still rinse that off. You guys look inside. Isn't that disgusting? Oh my gosh. Think that's bad, watch this. Find the handle here of the little sieve, move that dog hair out of the way. Let me show you guys how much hair this is going to pull up. Isn't that so disgusting, but so cool that they thought of this. Super awesome. I'm gonna dump this in the trash, then we're gonna dump out that nasty water. All right, so I dumped that in the trash. Now I'm gonna turn my water on, rinse this guy off. See, there's still dog hair on that. So it doesn't perfectly do it, but still, I mean, that's pretty impressive that it got all of that dog hair on this. Otherwise, it'd be in the water and you'd be really clogging your drain. Look how dirty. You guys, I clean my floors every week. You wouldn't think that, but I have dogs. So yeah, there's still some debris that catches at the bottom. So it doesn't work perfectly, but it still does a better job than probably what I would do. All right, so now this is rinsed out. I'm gonna assemble this back together. Oop, wrong way. And then we're going to continue on with cleaning our floor. Okay, so you guys can see that the clean watering tank is pretty much empty. I did a really quick cleaning job today. Most of the time I have to fill this up more than once, but one tank was good for a very quick clean. Now I'm gonna show you, we're gonna have to take out the dirty water tank again to empty it out and clean it. One thing I forgot to mention earlier, this little gray thing right here, as the water fills up, it starts pushing this little buoy type thing up and that's what helps indicate the water level in there when it makes that noise you gotta empty this out so we're gonna take this off to clean it out really well and then we're gonna take this part off to clean it as well so we can store it and it doesn't get mildewy or gross or anything like that so right here where it says pull i'm just gonna pull that out 
and you can still see how much dog hair you guys still get stuck in those areas that is one thing about it it's not all inclusive it doesn't completely all go up in there but still the fact that i can sweep up the dog hair and mop at the same time is great i'm gonna pull the pull tab here to pull this guy out so i can wash that and let it air dry and then typically what I do is I get a paper towel or something to clean out all of this hair right here. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so I have my little paper towel here. I literally will just go in and start wiping up all the extra dog hair because you don't want that staying in your machine. I know it's really gross, but this is the life of having a shedding dog and I would rather have that than no dog at all. I would clean my floor every single day if it meant somebody was gonna take my dog away. I would be all about it. Now also this is where the dirty water gets sucked up so you need to make sure you clean out that area as well. And I pulled a little stopper out but that is perfectly okay. It can pop right back in. Just make sure you clean out really well. And yes, this thing does take maintenance but again you guys, you're not having to do back breaking mopping. Super nice. All right, now we're just gonna clean out the different parts, rinse them off to make sure there's no debris or dog hair. And I literally just sit them right up here on the edge of my kitchen sink to let them dry out, air dry, until they are dry and then I will store them away in the closet until next time that I use it. So I just make sure everything is really well rinsed out. One thing I do like about it too is that the fact that you can take the pieces apart to clean it. Okay, so it's all rinsed off really well and I just take the sponge part and I wring it out. To help dry, let it dry faster. And that is it. So it's early in the morning. This is a completely different day than the first recording of the review for the Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro. But apparently somebody had diarrhea on my floor. So I thought this would be a great opportunity <laughs> to show you guys how well this would work on an area rug. And to show you how the Bissell works. So I've already started on the spot right here. It's much slower than you'd think. But let me show you how this works. So as you can see right here, obviously I have a little bit more to go, but it's doing a pretty good job. This frog isn't built that great. You can see how there's areas that are fraying, but that has nothing to do with the Bissell. It's cleaning up the area. We've been going probably for about five minutes now cleaning, so it cleans up fairly quickly, but I still have some to go. But I will show you guys a picture of what it looks like once I am done cleaning it. All right, so probably took me a good 10 minutes to clean up the area, but it looks a lot better. You can see deep down there, there's still a little bit of a stain. Um, so I'm gonna let this completely dry and then I'll come back to it and see if I need to go over it again. Obviously it cleans up, but you can see deep down like this area here in this area right here on the cream colors that I don't think it's gonna get this stain out. But I will mention, this rug is not built very well, and we found that out shortly after we bought it. However, if you have something wool woven like this, it's probably not a good idea to use this vacuum on those. Again, I think this is mostly the carpet's fault, 
but um, just be cautious with stuff like that. You can see how it's woven and the bristles were like just pulling it apart. So um, again, I think it's the rug's fault. We had issues as soon as we bought this, but just be mindful of that. Okay, so I know the lighting is getting bad. I apologize. It's raining outside, so it is quite a bit dimmer in here. But I really wanted to complete this for you guys so you guys would be able to make a decision on whether or not this Bissell Crosswave Pet Pro was for you or not. So I really hope that you did gain some information from this video and being able to determine if you feel like this is a good fit for you. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, I will have my email address down below in the comments so you guys make sure you can check that out and you can email me with any questions and I will be happy to do my best to help you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.